Yo, what's up my people, Fourth Prince here, and yeah, FFA gameplay, I come second, I couldn't get first, but I was playing with Orbit A, and he's a, just a beast, so what can you say, link to his channel is in the description, he's got tons of Gears of War Judgment content over there at the moment, and I don't know if everyone's been checking that out like they should be, so definitely go down and check out Orbit's channel, I was also playing with the Razor's Edge as well, he was in our party that night, I just had a really good night of Gears of War Judgment, so that's why I bought this, uh, bought this commentary, it's not about the gameplay so much, because I do, just everything's a bit Lacks of days of my part in this game, but that's kind of why I bought it in this commentary as well. But yeah, I was playing with the Razor's Edge, absolute YouTube legend. He's the man who's in charge of Gears Clip of the Day at the moment. I know Stax, who's another good buddy of mine, gave it to him a little a few months ago while he went to university. So big shout outs to Razor's Edge. Link to his channel is in the description. It was just an awesome night, so yo, thank you, people. And uh, yeah, man, what I want to chat about today obviously, we've got loads and loads of loads of commentaries to come from me. We got a new Gears of War, Gears of War 4 or Gears of War more I don't know what one it's going to be but loads of stuff to talk about that in the future but I don't want to chat about that so much today oh, the only thing I'm really worried about at the moment personally I know loads of other people have got concerns about them taking over the franchise and what it's going to be but I kind of feel that no one liked the last thing Epic did with the franchise so I'm kind of just happy we've got something coming I know that might sound dumb to some people but I'm kind of happy we've got another Gears game because if someone asked me last week about Gears of War 4 I'd have just said that game's not going to be happening now the fact it is happening I'm happy and we'll have to wait and see we've got a long time before that game comes out maybe a year and a half two years maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more who knows they've got Rod Ferguson over there and I do hope they get some more people over there or more people go over to there to work on the game who are the, from the Gears Gears franchise so we'll have to see but at the moment I'm really happy the only thing that's really concerning me personally at this point in time is who's got control of the servers for Gears of War 3 and Gears of War Judgment. It's a question I haven't heard anyone ask yet and I'm just hoping that them dedicated servers stay on because I feel Gears of War 3 and Gears of War Judgment as soon as them servers aren't up I kind of feel it's a very different game and it does feel more like Gears of War 2. Both of the games feel more like Gears of War 2. I know a lot of people complain about connections and stuff but we are a lucky place in Gears of War Judgment and Gears of War 3 when the dedicated servers are up. We're in a very lucky place because uh, it makes the game a lot better and when they're not up anyone who's played it without the service being up or when someone leaves and you know that it's being hosted by someone it is a different game it's certainly not that much fun so that's my only concern at this point in time that's it but yo what I want to chat about today is YouTube in general myself full five vision and what my channel is about because I do feel I'm gonna have a lot of opinions in the future that a lot of people aren't gonna like and a lot of people in this community this community that I love lots and lots are not gonna be happy with there's gonna be a lot of opinions coming that are gonna get me a lot of hate maybe in the comment section but there are not doing it but to get hate I'm just doing it because I feel that I have opinions and I'm gonna put my opinions out there because that's what the channel's about and I've kind of been hiding from that since my YouTube channel started <coughs> sorry I've been doing this commentary too many times now so I want to try and get it right but yo so basically I started Gears of War in Gears of War 2 probably about a year and a half before Gears of War 3 come out maybe two years I don't know no it must be a year year and a half something like that the first time I ever saw Gears of War was Gears of War 1 at a friend's house he just got the new console the Xbox 360 he's one of them people at any time a new console comes out or a new game comes out he gets that delivered straight to his door and he will play it he's super gamer like he always has been I used to go to school with him and he's been doing that since school and the first time I ever saw Gears of War was going around his house in London he said look at this game man show me Gears of War like one and I was like wow that's amazing Amazing. Obviously, it took me a few years to actually get an Xbox on my own and kind of forgot about Gears of War and then picked up Gears of War 2. When I picked that up, me and my friend did hired it from Blockbuster for the weekend just to do the campaign. And we did a whole weekend of just doing the campaign, which was just wicked fun. And then obviously, I enjoyed the game so much, he bought it for my birthday and uh, I played Horde and then I found the multiplayer. I wasn't even online, I wasn't on Xbox Live, I wasn't on anything like that. I just found found the multiplayer and I'd like set it up so take friendly fire off kill my bots on execution or warzone kill my bots and then go and kill all the other bots as well and I went right I've got to get online with this I've got to get an Xbox Live it's going to be just the most amazing thing I'm going to go on Xbox Live and show everyone in the Gears world how much of a beast I am obviously when I got Xbox Live and came onto Gears of War 2 multiplayer I got schooled and learned loads of things and that's what put me onto YouTube and YouTube videos you know your Arctics your Skylesses and things like that and that was 
was always something that I was just like, wow, I so want to have a YouTube channel. I so want to be able to record my gameplay, do commentaries and things like that. It was the people like your your Arctics, your Yammy Mashes, and people like that what really inspired me. It inspired me. You chop a double O nines. Yeti, you know, all the Warhounds, all that stuff really inspired me to do uh, YouTube as well. And then meeting people like Meister and Major and that just inspired me more to get do a YouTube channel. But what's my YouTube channel about? It's more about me loving this game, you know, Gears of War. I've got other games and I do do other stuff on my channel. I try and keep everything as multi as possible, but that's not always the easiest thing and not always possible. But I love Gears. I love this community. I love of people in it. I will leave some links in the description because that's another thing what my channel is about, links. People might not like me so much but hopefully for my channel you can go and subscribe to someone else or go over to someone else. So I will leave a link in the description to Frag Logic. Obviously Arctic is a, a super legend in the YouTube thing and one of the inspirations why I started YouTube. I don't always agree with what everything Arctic says nowadays. The same with Skyless. I'm a bit angry at Skyless because he never got the DLC for Judgment even though he wanted a single objective game type. But I still love you though. And there is a link in the description to Frag Logic because they had a very Frag Logic show last night, so definitely go and check that out. Link is in the description. Also, as well, Captain Barbosa, Mr. Competitive Gears himself. If it wasn't for Captain Barbosa, there would never be no tournaments or nothing in Gears. So, yo, love him loads and loads. There's a link in the description to a video he did on the stuff he'd like to see in Gears of War 4 or Gears of War More or whatever. Link in the description to his channel, so definitely go check that out and show Captain Barbosa all the support in the world. I hope everyone gets behind Hype Festation Winter Brawl and anything else tournament wise that comes out needs to be just you need to be showing him support so yeah check that link in the description to that video and also as well brutality as well she did a video the other day with chubb she's done a series at the moment where she's been like kind of interviewing uh talented gamers and competitive players she did one with chubbs the other night so i should leave a link in the description with that and you need to check out the other one she's had strangulate on there barbosa uh, fatal strike and i hope that series goes on well more and more i love that thing being a fan and that's what my channel is about at the end of the day I'm a fan a lot of people don't like that I'm never going to be the best player I'm never going to be the greatest commentator but I love Gears of War and now I'm sticking around as so I hope you like and uh, yeah man loads more commentaries to come tons and tons so much love and peace